And all that's happened, right, is I've come in and been called the most unpleasant man on the airwaves by Mr James Whale. Well, you are. Who I used to have a lot of respect for, quite no, frankly. No, don't, don't try undermining me by that sort of thing. Just remember that you take the mickey out of me regularly yeah, on I do. social media. It's true. You are quite disparaging to some of my views in life. <laughs> and quite frankly, I feel quite hurt. Yes, but I know you're a very delicate flower, James. And in this time of your life, uh, you've started to, to wear sort of, you know, sort of, what I can only describe as the old country squire garb, looking like somebody who lives in the shires, you know, like this, Dorset or something like that. I don't like live that. in the shires, and this just you happens to be You do live in the shires. I don't. don't I live, live in, in the, the Garden of England. Garden of England. I Kent. live around the corner from you. It's you so know. famous, this place. It's got its own variant. The Kent variant. I think it's just the clothes shops have been closed for so long now. He's yeah. having to dig into his wardrobe uh, well, for some, this, yeah, some this classics. Is, I, I mean, quite since, like this. Since but, I was able to know. buy the last jacket I had, I think I've gone up about three sizes. So I'm going to have a little yeah. bit of trouble when I go back in. I mean, probably won't, you know. I'm not being rude, Michael. I'm yeah. really not being rude. That's good. But it's not like you to be you rude. You do look a bit slobby. I mean, look at, look no, at no, Mark no. over here. I'm He's not having well... that. This is a very brand new show. I cracked it out of the uh, the, the dry cleaners this afternoon. I cracked it out of the dry cleaners this afternoon. I don't iron, of course. No, I can see. You don't die. But you know, when I'm when I'm when, when I'm in Mufti like this, because I'm not actually You're you know, in what? Mufti. Mufti. Have you not heard of that? Well, I have, but then I didn't think you'd been in the military. No, well, you say that as well if you're in a nunnery as well. When you come out of the nunnery and you put some other habit on, have or you something ever been else. in a nunnery? I went to school. I was taught Where's by this nuns. Going? I was taught by nuns as a primary you know, school. In, we were Saint talking, Edward's Primary School in Marylebone had its own nunnery. <clears throat> we were talking in the break about cruel um, people, very cruel things we've done. We're going to have a big debate between eight and nine on religion. Not uh, it was one of my favourite subjects to talk about tonight on the show. Uh, I've got an imam, I've got a, a rabbi, and I've got a uh, church of England. A person we're going to talk about. Sounds like a recipe for trouble. I don't know. It sounds like be. a 1970s joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to the punchline. It line. might be. We're coming up to the flipping Easter holidays and schools are having it off. Wait, again. Hang on, excuse me. The flipping Easter holidays. Yeah, flipping Easter you holiday. Be out Easter. holiday for a year. Easter is a religious holiday, a time of great solemnity for many people. I think you're fine. I'm sorry, I forgot you were religious. I, I yeah. apologise for offending it's your true. sensibilities. Very much so. I am a secular person myself. Are you? Yeah, I yeah. know Mark. Of course, he looks to. Were me. you raised uh, as a religious uh, young man? They tried, but. What? I'm not having any of that stuff. Really? Yeah, Mark, of course, is, uh, I think you're Catholic. You look like Catholic. I, I am, yes. Yeah, I thought you I, might I, be. I, I, um, and you also, and you, I'm married you, to one woman, and, and that'll be it for the rest of my life. You're mar also married to a woman from Germany. They're quite Catholic in Germany, aren't they? Yeah, she's very uh -huh. strict. She's very disciplinary. In fact, she's not unlike a nun herself. Is that right? She seems to have taken a couple of vows, which I'm beginning to regret. <laughs> well, what is your wife's name, by the way? Maria. Could I just talk to Maria? Maria, I am continually confused... <laughs> about your husband's hairstyle. She's from The Sound of Music. I have had a look at it today, and I realise there isn't a lot there. Now, I have been like this since the age of 18, although, actually, I showed you a picture of me about... But I did... I also have... What do they call that bit at the back? The tonsu... Widow's ton, peak. Widow, whatever. No, that's this bit here. All right. And I just think um, that if you were to sort his hair out, he would be a much happier man, because I went to sort of... Shruff, shuffle, shuffle Ruffling. his hair, ruffle his hair yeah. early, because yeah. he almost got Is apoplectic that about uh, it. Touching. Well, it was socially distanced, but he did cop a feel. I've got to say, I don't blame him. The thing about it well, is, it looks as though it's been glued on. That's the thing. I mean, I don't mean to be in any way disparaging, but it looks as though it's kind of glued. But here's the question: I mean, if it was a wig, would you buy a wig that looked like this? I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't buy a head that looks. So like listen, that either, I'm not you? being rude, but I just think your husband needs. And, and in case you were worried about social distancing. I have got my vaccine passport. Oh, here we go. Yeah, these are the sort of people that are ruining this country. I suppose you're going to be one of those people that wants to go to a pub and go, look at me, I've got a vaccine passport. Can I jump if to the you, front of the queue? If you haven't had the vaccine, if you, if you have medical reasons not to have it, then obviously that's perfectly fine. But if you've just been one of those idiots who says, I'm not getting vaccinated, it's a way of a government. If you're one of those... What, you mean somebody who's actually chosen to freely I not take it? I don't want you to come into the public house or restaurant anywhere near me like my friend over here who will just go around and shout abuse just because that's the way he is. <laughs> yeah, but uh, whether I've had the vaccine or not, I'm willing to shout abuse at anybody. Uh, but the, you problem can't... You've got, well, the problem with the vaccine passport is that if you only let people have had the jab in, it's just going to be a room full of codgers like the oh, three of gifts. us. Yeah, exactly. Who well, wants that? What about the young people? Do you want to look at No, I'm, I'm getting the vaccine look at this? on on. I mean, Saturday. also, by the way, can I just say, I've seen these before, right? You know, we are at the absolute pinnacle uh, and cutting edge of technology. And the best thing mm. to come up with is a piece of card that's got somebody his handwriting on it. Do which you think they could make some kind of digital Easily card? forged. I mean, I've it? got a bigger, better card than that from the local library. It's more secure. Trust me. You get a boatload of those and just sell them for a They're working on a better one. And the best idea is a little chip 
in your wrist. That's what I'm hoping for. Too Bill a Gates little, for my liking. A little chip in your wrist. It has your credit card details on. Uh, so you Trouble just with James, to, right? You know, he's like the bionic man. He spends more time in, in hospitals than he spends in pubs. And that's part of the problem because he's now been sucked in, suckered in, in fact, well, to the ways of the scientists. Oh, I think what's he's a geek is, now. When he's you now spend, a geek. When you spend that much time in hospital, and thank God you look so well, and it's great to have you back in the studio, but it does make you very woke if you spend too much time it with does. nurses and doctors. Yeah, it does. I'm not woke at all. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I bet you were there every Thursday earring. night clapping. No. Your, your I, no, no, no. I didn't because the doctors and the nurses that look after me... They just want to get on with their job and right. stop all this. Mm. Pay us more money. Don't clap us. Right. Well, if they and go all to that Scotland, yesterday, did you go out and clap yesterday no. and do a minute? I never clap, I've on? never clapped in my life for anybody. No, I know you haven't. You're right. Yourself. Apart from so a rock so, concert, you? I'm not yeah. going out on the street. Apart from anything else, I've got to go down three floors and then back up three floors to go and stand on the street. Why would I do that? Yeah, no. You know, very good point. As you can what see. I want to know is where you do at, in Talk that, Radio oh. have you got hold of rose wine? That's what I want to know. Well, this, funnily enough, was left for me by the early breakfast show. Uh, Mr. James Max and his oh, production yes. team. He's a bon vivant, isn't he? I mean, he? he's the only guy I know that would ha have a wine tasting at seven in the morning, this guy, right? And you know, uh, he, left me, what he, calls of, it? he left me the rest of the bottle. But hang on, hang on. When I came in earlier this afternoon, yes. what was the wine that we were drinking then? That was the wine I was tasting on my own show. Oh, right. This is wine from another show. I mean, I, oh, it's, oh, really? part of my contract is if any wine comes into the building, I hmm. have to be able to have access to it. There's a special well, fridge down at the back end. Has our producer tonight got a wine tasting on the show? I well, well, certainly hope so. I mean, Did you have one? No, we didn't we're alcohol free from four till seven why <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's about are the you... only time you are alcohol well, because free. my body do, you know he, do you know what else he does right what? this guy he rides around on a moped a moped do you, really you do not, not. i kid you That's not he's on a moped like no this is helmet hair that, that hair is actually stuck on your head that's not helmet hair is it well i mean i'm surprised that somebody like mark who on an uh, outward <laughs> appearance looks quite involved with the sort of you know the sensible part of society i try but we all know anyone on a moped I mean, it's not like a proper motorbike it's not a bicycle it's a moped it's like a lambretta can, it's like a hairdryer yeah can i i i agree with everything you said about Thank that but much. i'm just think i'm sitting here next I'm not sitting here with that filth Oi. all over the desk. No, you're being um, a deep clean. Would, would, you, clean. would no, you do that? I, would not. I hope it's going to be cleaned up before the morning as well. Because Get your it's producer true. in this, here to do it now. This studio Get him is, in is not COVID safe. It's not Dolan no. safe. You and why have you got your own... I've got it all going on here. This is the nerve centre. What is that? He's got his own laptop in here looking at rude yeah. films. What's he looking at? Well, <laughs> do you know what it is? I'm, I'm trapped in a loveless marriage. I've got to get entertainment somehow. Well, listen, that's what happens when you go should to I the talk... European area uh, should... to look for brides. Should I talk to his wife again? I think you should. Yeah. Think Come on, Maria. Yeah. Maria. In fact, it's like I think you need to love him thing. a little more because he's obviously feeling a little unloved. That's yeah. why he yeah. behaves I'll probably, in a way he I'll does. be talking to her in about an hour's time if she's still married to me. If she hasn't changed the locks. Two legends for the price of one. And James Whale is back where he belongs in the talk radio studio. And Mike, if he has sobered up, He's will be shouting, on air tomorrow he? from he 10. Shouting Why so are you much? shouting? Why Keep are you it yelling? Talk radio. <laughs> <laughs> Online on DAB+.